U.S. Farm and Food Policy expires at the end of September, but there are many challenges in approval of a 2018 Farm Bill to replace it. The biggest is the money needed to fund its cost. A, a lot of it's going to boil down to the spending side of things. Uh, we're watching closely the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, what we call the baseline, their 10-year estimates of spending under the policies as, as they exist today because that is the uh, limiting factor on what's available to the committees to make changes in policy. That's Jonathan Coppice, Agriculture Policy Specialist at the University of Illinois. Kind of in the same vein of that is how this tax bill uh, that adds roughly a trillion to a trillion and a half estimated uh, addition to the deficit, how does that impact the mood in Congress to then switch to cutting spending? And if Congress wants to cut spending to reduce the deficit, the Farm Bill may become a target, although it's only three-quarters of one percent of the federal budget. Um, what does that mean for Farm Bill? Because these are spending programs. Uh, what does that mean for crop insurance? What does that mean for Title I? What does that mean for conservation? And what does that mean for the SNAP program and, and the political dynamics that we saw in the last Farm Bill debate? You know? Coppice was chief of staff in the Senate Agriculture Committee when the 2014 Farm Bill was approved. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis for WCIA 3, your local news leader.